Last night, and again this morning, I spoke with President-elect Donald Trump, and I congratulated him on his great victory. We talked about the work ahead of us and the importance of bringing this country together. This is the most incredible political feat I have seen in my lifetime. Donald Trump heard a voice out in this country that no one else heard. He connected, with, he connected in ways with people no one else did. He turned politics on its head. And now, Donald Trump will lead a unified Republican government. There is no doubt our democracy can be very messy. And we do remain a sharply divided country. But now, as we do every four years, we have to work to heal the divisions of a long campaign. I think President-elect Donald Trump set the perfect tone last night for doing just this. And I know President Obama and Secretary Clinton are committed to bringing the country together. This needs to be a time of redemption, not a time of recrimination. I think what Donald Trump just pulled off is an enormous political feat. It's an enormous feat in that he heard those voices that were out there that other people weren't hearing. This health care law, Charles, is not a popular law. This health care law is collapsing under its own weight. And so to your specific question about repealing and replacing Obamacare, this Congress, this House majority, this Senate majority has already demonstrated and proven we're able to pass that legislation and put it on the president's desk. Problem is, President Obama vetoed it. Now we have President Trump coming who is asking us to do this. So with unified Republican government, we can fix this. We can fix these problems. Look